One of the great journeys in culture, history, and aesthetics, but especially in music, is along the Silk Road, which begins in the northwest corner of China near Xi'an, and it goes all the way across the stands. Tehran, we're in Persia with most of these instruments, Turkey, all the way to, you know this, because you remember Marco Polo, right? All the way to Venice and even up to Holland as well. And it's amazing to hear and to see the influence all along that route of Asian upon Middle Eastern, upon European, upon Western culture. And nothing does it better than the instruments that are behind me. These things are so exquisite, but they're also, and this is what blew my mind when we borrowed these, ancient. I mean, the Gibson guitar goes back to the 50s, right? And, and the Gujang even goes back to the Tang and the Song dynasty, which is a few thousand years. These are, this is 6,000 years or more. Of, of continuous history. The ne, N-E-Y, the ne is the flute that was played in the time of David. And when he told me this, Amir Vahab, who was this brilliant Persian virtuoso who came here and just completely dazzled us with his playing on the tambour, on the oud. When he told us how old these instruments really were and also how old the sound of this. Think about the sound of this and how long it's been echoing. Forget about your computer and your iPhone. Think about how beautiful these sounds are as they come from the mouths of these instruments. That's been the privilege of this exhibition as well. We got to look at them and then we got to listen to them.